Ready to refresh your admin expertise? Salesforce Spring 25 has arrived, delivering a vibrant selection of new features to simplify and supercharge your work as a Salesforce admin. Whether your goal is to optimize workflows, enhance data management, or enjoy a more seamless admin experience, this release is packed with tools to help you thrive. A big thank you to Christine Marshall for putting these features together. Choose which dashboard widgets to refresh. In Reports and Dashboards settings, select Let Users Refresh Individual Widgets for Dashboards to enable users to refresh specific widgets on a dashboard instead of the entire dashboard. This is an interesting change, but I wonder if it will cause any confusion around the last refresh date time on the dashboard. Only time will tell. Sort list views by multiple columns. You can now sort your data in list views by up to five columns at once, making it easier to organize and act on information. Choose which columns to sort by and whether to sort them in ascending or descending order. This setup is just for your view and can't be saved as the default, but you can quickly go back to the single column sorting by clicking on a column header that isn't part of your multi-column sort. Organize your data with multi-column sorting for related lists. At number three, similar to the last update, you can also sort related lists by up to five columns. Historically, you could only sort related lists by a single column. This setup is just for your view and can't be saved as the default. In the example shown here, the opportunities related list on the account is sorted by stage and then by amount. The edit list filters option is no longer available. A quick one, but an important one. The Edit Lists Filter option in List Views Control has been removed for all list views. Instead, to amend your list view filters, you'll need to click the Filters icon. Allow all users to view all fields for a specified object. Fewer clicks means happy admins. You can now assign permission to view all fields for a specific object. This feature is available for all standard and custom objects that support field permissions. Users will automatically be assigned permissions to view any new fields that are created. Before we continue with the array of cool things coming this year, let's quickly talk about 2025's hottest topic, AI. Are you ready to kickstart your AI initiative? Did you know that there's no point in starting unless your data is clean? Bad data can derail your AI project before it even begins, turning your investment into a costly mistake. Traction Complete is your solution to clean, connect, and optimize your Salesforce data, ensuring it's ready for AI and delivering real business value. Don't let messy data hold you back. Click the link or scan the QR code to see just how you can get started on cleaning your Salesforce org today. The view all and modify all object permissions have new names. Understanding Salesforce security, especially the differences between profiles, permission sets, roles, and more, can be a daunting task. To make things clearer, Salesforce has renamed some object permissions for better clarity. The view all permission is now called view all records, and modify all is now modify all records, making their purpose more intuitive. At number seven, you can now manage included permission sets in permission set groups via summaries. Add a permission set directly to a permission set group via the permission set summary page. This change reduces the amount of clicks and effort required to add permission sets to permission set groups. Remove user and custom permissions in permission set summaries. In another similar update to the previous one, admins can save even more time with the ability to remove users and custom permissions via the permission set summary page. This is the start of bringing editability to summary views with more enhancements to come. Get improved performance with the enhanced role list view. Good news, roles are getting a new user experience that will allow you to view, sort, and filter user roles in a list format, plus edit roles in line. You can see it in action here. Capture more data with the increased limit of custom fields for activities. And finally, at number 10, Salesforce orgs with fewer than 400 million activities can now capture even more details about their sales processes, thanks to an increased limit of 300 custom fields, tripling the previous limit of 100. Pretty great, right? 
And that's a wrap on our top 10 freshest features for Salesforce admins in the Salesforce Spring 25 release. We'd love you to share your favorite new features in the comments, and don't forget to check out our top 10 Spring 25 features for developers list.